Hello and welcome. My name is Morgan and I'm from the Launchpad. You are watching the video for the DIY meditation garden. Uh, so you are watching the video either because you registered for it and have a kit for it um, or you know you wanted to recreate it. Um, the style of this, they usually are called uh, Zen gardens. Um, making a little miniature version of it. But um, Zen is actually a school of thought within Buddhism, and I am not a Buddhist, nor am I any kind of expert on Buddhism. Um, so we won't really be getting into the principles of it. Um, but I encourage you to look into that for sure if you are interested in the topic. And um, we do also have a program. I know that our newsletter is now circulating, so you should probably be getting that in the mail if you're in district. Um, but if you're not, in July, on July, let's see, I have the date right here, 16th, we have um, a program, a presenter from Chinese Intercultural about East Asian gardens. And I would guess that Zen gardens will be mentioned. <laughs> Um, they're kind of minimalistic, but uh, this one we're doing a little miniature one for um, kind of like meditating and doing something that's simple and calming and makes you feel nice and chill. So um, those of you that registered received a kit with five main items, a nine by nine inch shadow box, a bag of fine white sand. It's about 750 to 850 grams or just under two pounds. Um, a couple of rocks, preserved moss, and two mini rakes. This is a super duper easy craft and you'll only need a surface to work on, uh, maybe a placemat or a heat tablecloth. Um, to catch any sand that spills over, and then maybe a pen, a screwdriver, or a coin, which sounds weird, but we have to lift a couple pegs um, from the shadow box. So that's how we'll do it. Um, you may be able to just use your fingers, I need to too. So um, let's see. We already went over the, again, Adult Services Program on East Asian Gardens. That's July 16th. I would encourage you to go um, attend that if you're interested in this topic and like the idea behind it. Um, and that's all good. Program plug twice, maybe even three times. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Alrighty, so let's get started. Um, the first thing that we'll do is take our frames, our little shadow boxes, and uh, take off the plastic that is holding it together. Cute stickers. Sometimes I just pull out the corner and rip it. There we go. Okay. Tore the scene. Just take this off. Okay. And what we want to do here is the first step is to take the glass and move it to the back of the frame. So right now, the back of the shadow box or frame is um, some kind of kind of like board with um, fabric on top of it. So um, to do that, so we're gonna put the glass over the um, fabric pad. But what we'll do first is take off the backing. And so this is where I said um, a pen or a, let's see. Let's see, my nails were just cut a little too short, but I'm still able to pull them up that way. Um, if yours are shorter than mine, <laughs> you can always use, um, you know, a coin of some sort, a pen, whatever you've got screwdriver even. Okay, cool. So now, get rid of that garbage. Okay, we're gonna take this off and we're, we're gonna do this part carefully because remember there's a piece of glass involved. So this stuff, you can just take out the pins if you so keep them, add them to your collection. If you don't, give them away to someone else. <laughs> 
So, okay. so here is the kind of matte board that comes in it. Um, and then what you can see here is that there's a smaller piece inside. So what we're gonna do is take this out, carefully take out the glass, right? Set that aside, careful of those edges. And then I'm going to put this little black piece back. Then we will put the glass on top of that. So we're moving, like I said, we're moving the glass to the back of the frame slash shadow box instead of the front. Okay, and then here we can just go ahead and put this back into place. Close these little guys. I don't know what they're called. If you do, feel free to let me know. Okay, now when we turn it over, you can see there's about an inch or so um, from the edge of the frame or border to the glass. So now, after that part, the rest is so, so super easy. Let's see. So we're gonna take the sand that we used, or I'm sorry, the sand that we got in our bags, right? Fine white sand. and just pour it all out. Oh, for this part, so I'm gonna pour it all out onto the glass because I'm okay with that. If you have a um, preference where like if, let's say it's the amount of sand that I gave you should be plenty, um, but if you get close to the edge and you don't want it hitting the glass at the bottom, then you can always just put um, cut out a piece of felt or a piece of fabric of some sort and then lay it down first. But then after that, you'll just go ahead and pour out all your sand. Okay, so once our bags are empty, that's in the discard pile. We could use our hands to push it all out. And the amount of sand that I gave you should give you about, let's see, I don't know, at least half of an inch or so. Okay, so we just wanna make sure that all of the glass is covered, which it is. And you can see now, I've got my fingerprints all over it. So you can take the rake that you got in the kit Spread it out with that instead. And then we're more than halfway done. <laughs> the next step is to take your rock or rocks. So it depends on, you. this is all preference. So you can just place this anywhere into your little garden. And then we have some moss here as well. I love moss. Let's see, preserved moss here. Let's say I want it between my two rocks. Let's just say that's how I want it. Um, then we can take out the little pieces that don't belong. Some of them will just float to the bottom, but that's okay. Okay. And then from here, you could just take your rake and use this as a calming activity. And you can always switch around where you put this stuff to if you even want it. If you don't want to use a rock or the moss, that's totally okay. You don't have to. Um, you can look into um, Zen gardens online and see, you know, the kind of styles that other people use or the um, places that they put them. So like I've seen a lot that have it like one big stone right in the middle with like maybe some moss and then those ones have they're usually a little bit bigger than this nine by nine inch one um, but then you'd be able to do you know circles around it or something like that it's 
totally up to you. And if you find um, cool rocks, if you're like me, and you just come across rocks outside or you're into crystals or whatever, you can um, put those in this as well, uh, as well as anything else, really. I know some people use um, wood chips, wood chips or uh, some kind of mulch um, in like a corner. I've seen that one a lot. But now you have your own little meditation garden. where it's very calming. You can give this to someone who has a lot of stress right now as a gift. There you go. And if you wanted to make things stay in place, um, you could always try to, um, you would probably have to put some adhesive on the glass first. Um, so glass glue, something like that, or something to make the bottom layer of sand stick. Um, but once you do that, you can probably get away with, if you're really sure about it, you can probably get away with using some kind of adhesive to make these stay. But because of the size, these rocks aren't really going to move on their own. So even when I go like this, some of the sand moves, but the rocks don't. So you should be fine. So there you have it. And if you wanted to share your creation with us here in the launch pad, which you know that we love, um, you can always email a picture of it to Digital Maker. That's D I G I T A L Maker M A K E R at I T P L D dot org. Enjoy. Thanks for joining me today to work on this relaxing project. I hope you are all feeling calm and at peace. Um, if you haven't already, you can always subscribe to our channel by hitting the subscribe button down below. Um, there's a little bell next to it. You could always hit that and then you will be notified um, whenever we put up more content. Uh, if you liked this video specifically, be sure to leave it a thumbs up um, and we will see you next time. <laughs> All right, take care. Thanks for joining us.